Hey everybody, Logan here, back with another controller. About to run out, so I'm sorry, running out of controllers to cover. Might have some very soon, I'm looking for some online. Apparently 8 Do has announced a new one with Hall Effect, and I'm going to cover those as well as some other ones on Amazon. Some interesting Amazon finds. Otherwise, hopefully uh, the other companies will come out. I'm still waiting for some to be sent to me from other companies. But until then, we have this one today. This one's going to be a rather short and sweet video because I, I don't have a Genesis to test this on. Whoa, I know, crazy. I used to have um, quite a bit of uh, ways to play the Genesis. I had a Retron, and then I had a Genesis 3. Now, with the Genesis 3, I sold it. I'm sure you saw a video I, I might have done a little while ago where I sold selling off some of my, uh, a portion of my collection. That was one of the things that went. Now with the Retron, the Mega Retron, I sold it thinking I was going to get my Poly Mega a lot sooner than I was. So it looks like, as of recording, I still have next month getting the Poly Mega, and I purchased this. That's the Genesis Big Six by Retrobit in order to use with the Poly Mega because I like the size of the larger Genesis controller. This is one that you uh, originally had the three button layout and then Retrobit added the six button layout. I thought that was pretty interesting. So unfortunately I have no way to test it today. I will be testing this as well as other controllers with the Poly Mega when it comes in for a future video, but until then, we're gonna take a look at this. I'm gonna tell you how it feels. We're gonna see if the buttons are all clacky or squishy or whatnot. Hopefully, uh, Retrobit did a good job with this. They did a pretty good job with the wireless variants before for the Saturn and the Genesis. So let's see how they do with the, uh, with the Big Six. Okay, so here we go. The Genesis. I like how they have that retro style box. I love how they do that. 16-bit video entertainment system. Big Six control pad. Genesis and Sega CD. Officially licensed by the Sega. So as you can see, it's got that original shape from the original Genesis controller. It, the only Genesis I currently actually have is the Genesis Mini. And it's the first one. I don't. I never picked up the second one. And this does not work with that. This only works with the original Sega Genesis and Sega CD. When I mean original, not the Mini. But from my understanding, if you do have one of the Genesis compatible uh, consoles, like again, the the Retron, the Retro, the Mega Retron, or any of the the Retrons like that that have uh, Genesis controller compatible compatibility, it will work. So my understanding is. And again, I don't have it yet. The Poly Mega is compatible with a lot of original controllers, especially with those modules. And this is what I plan on using with that one, if it's everything I've hoped for. Because like I said, I do like the larger Genesis controller better than the, ori better than the original 6-button, which was much smaller. Because of the, the size. Back then it was different, now... My hands aren't as tiny as they were when I was a kid. But I was never a Genesis kid. I was uh, I had a uh, Game Gear, but that was it. I was always uh, a Nintendo guy. I like that. Now, I think it's interesting that they put a recessed start button here. It's very low, so you don't hit it instead of being up here. You, you're not going to hit it on the original because you only had the three buttons. Here with the six... And it feels like the Genesis controller. It feels exactly like the three button with the extra three here. Now this one's a bit more recessed because of the, the arc of the controller here. You're going to see the A button is a bit more recessed than the others, especially with the older one being three in the middle. And you have these on the top. So how about we take a look and compare it with the Genesis three button that came with the Sega Genesis Mini. All right, so if you take a look, this is... Now, this is the one that came with the Mini, and from my understanding, the red was the more the Mega Drive version, where the US one 
had the white. Again, I didn't have one as a kid. I was a Super Nintendo kid. A Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64. I didn't get my first actual home Sega console until the Dreamcast. Yeah, crazy, huh? Otherwise, I had the Game Gear. Now, the Game Gear I have a lot of fond memories for. I love that one. So, this has the rounded D-pad, where this Sega one has the squared off. I don't like this D-pad. That was one of the big reasons. Now, this you can still use with your Switch and PC, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But, like I said, here's the start button here. And that's the way it is on here. See how the buttons are pretty much the same? If you look here, slightly recessed going up because of the way your hand would go. And then the, 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 the ridge, I guess you could call it, of the original six. Here they had to do it a little different because of the positioning of the buttons, where it's completely understandable. So it feels very nice. I really like the, the original style Genesis floaty D-pad, but this one's much softer than this. I don't like this hard, rigid uh, D-pad that they gave you on here. Again, not 100% sure if that's how it was on uh, the Mega Drive because, well, we're still in the States. So here you can see it's still the same thing. If you look on the back, still the same thing. Here you have Retro Bit. Here you have Sega. So it's very, very much the same thing. Sega's got that license uh, going on with Retro Bit, like Microsoft has the one going on with uh, Hyperkin to make these, I guess you could say, retro throwback. Uh, officially licensed controllers but I think this is a nice one I like the style and uh, mode button okay there's no mode button here mode from my understanding uh, correct me if I'm wrong again n n never had a Genesis growing up mode was the button you would s press that would switch between three button and six button controls if I'm not mistaken if you guys can clarify that for me, tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong about that. But I like this one. It does have the original Genesis Sega CD input. Now, one thing that I saw over the years is that these were actually compatible with certain Atari systems that had that same input. I'd see people in multiple videos, you can look it up after you watch this video, of people using this on uh, Atari systems and it working somewhat just fine. And if that's the case, that might work on maybe one of the uh, the Retron Ataris or, or whatnot. Wondering if they'll ever do uh, an Atari add-on for the Polymega. Yeah, we'll see if I ever get mine. But I think this is a nice controller. I can't wait to use it. It feels great. It feels better than this one. I think this is definitely uh, the way to go if you're going to be playing current Sega games on your retro old consoles. Or on your Polymega, or on your Retron, or any kind of uh, uh, retro console you have, modern retro, to play your games on your current TVs, or however you want to play, even if you're playing still playing the original hardware on a CRT. But, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. Did you pick up one of these? This was pretty cheap. I got it for about $16, and I thought that was uh, pretty good. I, I think they're running for $15 to $20 online, depending on where you go. I, I, I think they're running for uh, about that. But I got it for $16 at uh, my local game store. And I was like, cool, it wasn't used, it was brand new. So I was like, I'm going to pick it up and do a, a short little, small little video. And I realized that it's got these little, little button, little nubbin things right there on the Y. I don't know why those are there. Maybe it's for feeling. I, I, I don't know. Again, Super Nintendo never had any of that. I, I feel so it's so foreign to me. No. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you guys think about this controller. Have you picked it up? Have you used it? Have you ordered one? You tell me. Drop it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. And then once my Polymega comes in, if and when it comes in, I will definitely be using this and uh, trying this and a number of other controllers on it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Make sure you turn that bell on for notifications so you know whenever I put up any new content as well as new episodes of Ready to Start Podcast. Uh, should be starting back this week. Everything looks like it's back on track for the new year. 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys so much. Like I always say, be legendary. Thanks again.